All right, hello everyone. This uh, desktop actually isn't on, but let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, pertaining to raising money for the deal. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, the total raise on this was 2.7 million in terms of equity to put down towards improvements uh, as well as the down payment uh, as well. And so with that, I didn't have the 2.7 that was laying around, neither nor did my partner. So what we did was we put together a syndication. And just a little bit in terms of the numbers is uh, the total purchase price was $6 million, of which 70% of that came from a lender, and the uh, interest rate was 4.25, and it's an eight-year term on that. So I would say pretty good in terms of the financing. Of course, now while we're shooting this video, the uh, interest rates are at an all-time low, but those are just the details we were able to get at, at that present time and able to get some interest only as well. So what we did with the investors is we did a simple equity structure. I'm a huge fan when it comes to just keeping things simple and how the equity structure was, was just 85% went to the limited partners, which are the investors, and then 15% went to us as the general partner. So kept it very simple. There's other structures out there such as preferred return. And there's so many different ways to structure deals. Some people actually flip flop that where they, them as the general partners get majority and then their uh, investors are getting minority. So that's what I wanted to mention. And then also this was actually the largest raise to date for us. Formerly the, the largest uh, deal in terms of that we had did was 80 units and our raise was typically around about 1.1 to 1.2 so we felt it was going to be a stretch for us but we knew that we were going to be able to figure it out and that's why it's very important to keep your marketing efforts on not just on the acquisitions but also your investors and constantly just nurturing those relationships. So now we're gonna go ahead and head out and I just wanna go into some amenities which I haven't touched on just yet. So go ahead, we'll swing outside. Phenomenal weather here in Indianapolis. We'll go ahead and uh, close that door for you here, Andre. So here is the pool. It's costing a little bit more, I wouldn't say than anticipated, but uh, in essence is we're just gonna fill that. And the park over here is we're gonna scrap this. So we're gonna demo it, which is just a short term word for demolition. Uh, so we're gonna get rid of this and install a new park and then also implement a dog park as well. Cause what you see is, especially with our uh, resident base is the majority of them like to have their pets, very pet friendly here. Of course we do uh, not, uh, tend to not have, not discriminate for lack of a better words, but uh, shy away from the aggressive breeds. But outside of that is people love their pets. Some people actually pick their pets over their significant others. So that's why we are uh, geared towards our amenities towards those individuals. So that's just what I wanna mention in terms of the, the, the key elements with raising the money and then also some of the amenities as well. 